Hi everyone, it's Mimi Von Snaps and I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm serving up this peachy look. This is a very easy look, anyone can do it. So if you want to see how I got this, please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Okay, so starting off with my e.l.f. palette, I'm using this brown shade as my transition. Then I'm going to use a peach shade in that same palette as well. Then I'm going into my Urban Decay Electric palette and I'm going to use the shade I think it's slow burn is the name of the shade I'm packing that orangey shade all over my lid then I'm gonna blend that out with a fluffy brush as you can see that's what I'm doing right now I'm going back into that color and I'm packing more of that color on my lid because I really want this color to pop going back into that elf palette and deepen my crease with the same brown shade now I'm going to do a wing eyeliner and I'm using the Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper as always I'm starting my wing from the outer corner then I'm drawing a line to connect the wing I'm filling it in as I go along Make sure you use small strokes when you're doing a wing eyeliner, this is really important because it's really hard to clean up eyeliner when you mess it up. The key to eyelashes is looking down into your mirror so make sure you're doing that. And our eyes are pretty much done, yay! Now let's figure out what I'm going to do to this mug <laughs> but before that I'm going to color correct my dark spots with the Elegil orange corrector I'm putting the corrector everywhere that needs correcting and then I'm blending that out with my fingers I decided to go with the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation because I like the full coverage and this foundation is really growing on me. I didn't like it at first. I'm using my Real Techniques brush to blend that out. And I'm further blending that with my Beauty Blender for a more flawless look. Now I'm using my favorite LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige as my highlight. You guys know that I mix Sasha Buttercup with the Sasha White to highlight. I find the Buttercup by itself is a bit too yellow for my under eye. Then I'm using the Sasha Regular Buttercup to set the rest of my face as you can see. I decided at the last minute that I wanted to do an inner corner wing as well as you can see that's what I'm doing right now I felt like I wanted my eyes to look a little more dramatic now I'm lining my water lines with the next 
I pencil in the color black. I'm taking that same slow bone shade from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm packing that on my lower lid or lash line. <laughs> Then I'm taking the brown shade from the e.l.f. palette and I'm blending that out for a more smoky effect. Guys, I don't know why I make that funny face when I'm putting on mascara. I can't help it. Ugh, this is so funny. And for contour, I'm going back into my Beauty Trees palette. And I'm using those two shades make sure you blend upwards because if you are not careful you can end up looking like you have a beard and we don't want that and remember to contour the perimeter of your face which includes your forehead and along your hairline the Milani baked powder blush I really like their blushes and for highlighter I'm using my sleek highlighter and I'm using this shade as my base because I'm gonna go over that with my Anastasia Beverly Hills so Hollywood illuminator which I'm doing right now because I, I'm a huge fan of that bright, highlighted, glowy look. I'm bringing that on the tip of my nose as well as the bridge. Make sure you blend this out as well. I'm also highlighting my brow bone with the same highlighter as well as my inner corner. And for lips, I'm using this peach liquid lipstick I got from the beauty supply store a few months back. I can't remember the brand right now, but please check the description for a link. I really like this color. You get a really nice color peel off and it's not sticky like some of the liquid lipstick I've tried. And of course, I'm finishing off with my NYX Dewy Setting Spray. And this is the final look guys, I hope you like it, I really hope you enjoy this video, thank you so much for watching, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video, and I'll see you in another video, bye!